Okay, we are loaded up and ready to go to Lake Bistanu in Louisiana for the holiday. We will be camped there all weekend and come back Monday. Everything is hooked up and ready. Loaded pretty good because we're going to have a couple more nights than normal. And I'm squatted just a tad in the rear, but not a whole lot. I naturally have the trailer down a little bit further in the front than the rear. That's just the way I like to haul them. But you can see, which some of it may be the way I'm parked too, but I am higher in the front than in the back. But it really didn't squat all that much. I try to keep as much weight out of the front box and the back of the Jeep as I can to make sure I'm not overloaded. And I'm not, it's just like I said, two uh, propane bottles and two batteries up front there on the tongue. You know, it don't take much to get loaded pretty good. And uh, you know, I've pulled this many times so far and I've been squatted about like that right there and I haven't had no issues. I hear some sirens are coming to get us. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm just waiting on Ashley to get home and then we are off. We will enjoy sharing our adventure with y'all. It's gonna be hot, but it has cooled down a little bit. Uh, I think we're gonna get down in the 70s at night. So with the, the pop-up having AC, we're gonna be just fine. We'll play games in the hottest part of the day. So stay tuned for more of this adventure to come. Welcome to Lake Bistanu State Park in Louisiana. As you can see, there's Spanish moss in the trees and behind us is a very low situation there might be salvia on that we're not 100% sure we haven't walked around a whole lot and then let's see if I can get us down and there's all kinds of cypress trees and we have this cool deck right in front of the camper and Tim's popping up the camper back here let's go find him looking for you. There you are. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and get electricity going to pop up that way. I'm not pulling off the battery when I raise the, the top on this thing. And I've actually been having some issues with our winch on this. The relays that push it up are sticking. So I actually had to tap it to get it to engage. So something I'm going to have to fix. But uh, it's best to go ahead and plug in. That way when you winch it up, you're pulling off the electricity. But I'm going to uh, get everything set up and get ready for an adventure. Well, this is our campsite at Lake Bistanu. All these campsites have these nice decks. Just watch out for some of the screws. They might trip you up. These have been here a while. You can see the edges sticking up. They might trip you up if you're not careful. We made some steaks last night. Had a good supper. Stayed up quite late. I love the Spanish moss and all the trees. picnic table, barbecue grill, firing, 
but we're in a burn ban right now so we can't have any charcoal fires or wood fires and as you can see the lake is pretty dry boat ramps closed but it's still beautiful not a whole lot of people here right now maybe because you can't get into the lake but we're not like I said using the lake we just using the campground and we'll check more out here in a little bit I'm fixing to go make some coffee the site was pretty level As you can see right now, the campsite's pretty empty. All the stuff on the back side of the camper. All right, guys. Let's go get some coffee. Hey guys, I'm actually standing in Lake Bistanu. As you can see, there's no water. As far as I can see. You see the bottom of the cypress trees? Look at all these cypress knees. And if you look over there, you can see the dock or walkway out into the lake. And last time we was here, there was water up to that. But they drained it out trying to get rid of that invasive I call it a weed but yeah we're just out I'm walking Remy I need to get him untangled walking him in the lake He wanted to wear his life jacket and go swimming, but I had to show him that there was no water in the lake. I don't know how far I'd have to walk to get to water. Because there is some water in the lake. Just, I think it goes down eight feet or so. But yeah, pretty cool. Our coffee ought to be ready now. I've got everything ready up there. So we're going to go back and get some coffee. And we'll do some more exploring soon. Well, we are at the boat ramp area 
of Lake Bistanu. Really nice pavilions up there. Big parking lot. It's pretty empty right now because there's not a lot of water in the lake. But you can see some water over here. Bunch of geese over there. Some water. Get all the birds back there. But yeah, there's the boat ramp over here. There just isn't any water. It's a shame that they're having a battle. Big old cypress tree. It's dry enough you could walk down there quite a ways. All kinds of birds. A few more birds over here.
There is a nice frisbee golf course here at Lake Bistanu. We're still in the boat ramp area. Somebody's walking down there, scared the birds off. There's a bunch of birds down there. Geese, aren't they? Geese, all kinds of different types. I don't know what they all are. They're white ones. Look how big that cypress tree is. Yeah, that's unreal, ain't it? All right, guys, I think y'all got a pretty good view of this area. Beautiful area. You need Money. That'll help pay for our campsite. It's one thing about the water being drained down right now. You can come out to this point and watch the wildlife for hours upon hours. Don't know how good this is going to zoom in.
gonna see how close I can get to these birds before they fly off. Let's go back to camp and get something to eat.
So I got the Coleman stove out, or the oven, and instead of putting it on the Coleman stove, I decided to try this Fabware cook eye. And you know, it only works with certain pans. I think they got to be aluminum bottom. And this happens to be aluminum. And the eye comes on and works. So, we are making cinnamon rolls in the oven on this eye. And they're coming up pretty good. It is, I am slow cooking them so I don't burn the bottoms, but uh, yeah, so far so good. Okay, so using the stove eye or the electric eye over there did not get this hot enough to cook with. So I took my grill off of this. Yeah, I took the grill off the griddle <laughs> and just sat my Coleman oven on top of it and it's working great. Now I am down as low as I can go on temperature so we may be back in a position you really gotta watch your heat. So this has been on there for a while now. With this set all the way to low, it's been holding right at 300 degrees. So that's pretty much perfect for baking a lot of stuff. And so far, I should have put them on the next to the top rack, I do believe. But they're gonna be just fine. As long as I keep an eye on them, I don't think I'll burn the bottom. All right, final check on these. Oh yeah, they're done. I'm gonna take them in and ice them, and we're gonna eat them. So, to me, this worked way better than the Coleman stove. Hey everyone, this is another section of Lake Bistanu, and it's, let me pan around, our campsite is right there and we're over one campsite and if you look in behind that campsite you can actually see water back there and birds but used to that water and you can also tell by looking at the cypress tree where the water level was and where I'm standing used to be in water. Look at all the top of things. I'd say that water is probably all the way up to where well, you can tell where the wash is. Most times that water is all the way up to here. And this is the end of Saturday. And we still have pretty much the whole campground to ourselves. There are just a few campers here. Got pretty hot today. Last when I checked, uh, the hottest I saw it was 99 degrees. And it was hot. We actually rode around the Jeep a little bit and went and played some Pokemon but we have a roast in the Instapot and we're fixing to go eat on that so we will catch y'all later it's gonna be blurry blurry Pretty dark. We left Lake Bistanu State Park and went into Menden to get a bite to eat. And on our way back, we come by this 
river here. Thought we would stop. And you can see the railroad tracks going over there. And at one time that pivoted because you could, if you look in the middle, let's see if I can zoom in, you can see the track right there. A big old cypress tree. There's a light at the very top of it. Pretty cool place. Be nice to uh, can, uh, canoe or kayak down through there. I see this is a boat ramp. Plenty of parking here. But anyway, we are fixing to head back to the state park. <laughs> hot outside and we're in the camper playing summer camp why not play a board game that has to do with camping and nature and cooking and hiking while you're at camp pretty fun game you have to use different strategies to win and I recommend this as a really fun game to take camping with you i'm not gonna get into how you play it but uh like i said it does take some strategy once you figure it out it's easy to play and it's a lot of fun packed up hooked up and we just took one more view at the boat ramp area that's where all the birds and we saw deer and stuff like that on that end very pretty but we are fixing to head home we had a great time if y'all have a chance to check out lake bistanu come check it out it's a beautiful park hope y'all enjoyed our little adventure we just shared bits and pieces of it and we hoped that you can get out and adventure too.